The idea that Islam is going to take over the world and enforce Sharia law is absolutely ridiculous. First of all, the strategy is to immigrate to the West and to Western nations and to Russia, other, other countries, and then outbreed the population? Well, that's the same survival strategy as a roach, a cockroach, or a rat. That's what rats do. Every breeding cycle, they have six or seven babies, and then those babies mature really quickly and start breeding, and so their population is able to explode. But that's not going to make them more successful. What makes them more successful is being more intelligent. And that's where Islam falls short, and that's why it could never rule the world. Case in point, let's take a good look at ISIS. Let's say they're the model of Islam for now, of what a caliphate would look like. Okay, now somebody might say, well, no, 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 it's not going to be like that. Well, <clears throat> just follow me for a second. If Islam is going to rule the world, okay, someday, and enforce Sharia law, uh, if you look at ISIS and uh, the Islamic State, you see them driving American-made cars and Japanese-made cars. You see them shooting weapons that are made in Russia and the United States. They didn't build any of that. They stole it. And you think that someday Islam is going to take over the world and enforce Sharia law? That is absolutely ridiculous. It makes me want to burst out laughing. Your model for success is to outbreed. Are you kidding me? That's what rats do. That's how rats survive. That's how cockroaches survive. I'm just saying. And you're going to do it by stealing the weaponry that's built by the West. Okay, now let's take in a another case. For example, where is Sharia law? enforced in the world, and how successful are those countries? Okay, Pakistan? Are you kidding me? My computer that I'm that I have right here is a Mac Pro cost twenty five hundred dollars new. That's more than the net worth of most families in Pakistan. Oh okay, well you do have a little bit of oil wealth. Islam will never ever be the ruling party. I'm just saying, it's not going to happen. The whole caliphate thing, if you wanted a caliphate, there it is. It's called the Islamic State, and they're getting destroyed right now, and I'll be really surprised if they even exist a year from now, okay? And if you think that terrorism is going to help, or, or is going to cause it, bring it about by blowing up trains and blowing up the World Trade Center and beheading people, no, that's just going to make the whole world hate you even more. And basically, all the radical Muslims are going to be put to death, even under the government of the devil, even under the Antichrist. When the Antichrist does have a one-world government, he's not going to, for one minute, tolerate extremist terrorism. They're going to put you guys down so fast. So you might as well just get with the West, because I'll tell you right now, you don't have any we weapons technology. As, as a matter of fact, the AK-47 was designed in Russia. Uh, I do understand that there's some manufacturing of AK-47s in Afghanistan. If it wasn't for that, the whole Islamic world would be throwing rocks and sticks. You're literally in the Stone Age. And it's because of Sharia law. And so it blows my mind to think that that you actually believe that one day the whole world's going to be under Sharia? I mean, it is just, it's ridiculous. And, uh, you know, the United States, I, I do admit, you know, it's, a, it's, it's an immoral society, and I believe that God is going to judge the United States. We've turned our back on God, and um, we've become more and more secularized. And, uh, 
you know, when that happens, it'll be our own fault. As far as world dominance, freedom has proven to be more powerful than communism or oppressive rule or Sharia. Even Russia and China have to steal their technology from the United States because it's the free thinking of the West, it's intellect, it's brain power, it's being smarter, it's having better education, better engineering, better tools and products, more innovation. Okay, so if you were to take an iPhone, something that just about every teenager has, either an iPhone or an Android, and take it to a remote part of Afghanistan and show it to the tribal leader, the IMIM, or whatever it is you guys have over there, and ask him how long would it take for you to develop an iPhone. It could never happen. The internet, an automobile. Jeez, for goodness sake, even something as simple as an AK-47, you guys didn't design those. You, you, you build them, but they were not designed in the Muslim world. They were designed in Russia. So the long and the short is, Islam is always going to be subservient either to the West, and if you're going to even come close to ruling the world, you're going to have to be basically subservient to either Russia and China or the United States and the West. After 9-11, we went to, the, to Afghanistan and pounded the living daylights out of Al-Qaeda. We killed al-Baghdadi, and we killed Osama bin Laden. We accomplished our mission. And I recommend you take a look at the video footage from an Apache helicopter as they fly over Afghanistan and drop bombs on the insurgents. And you need to understand that that's the way it's going to be. Because nobody, nobody likes radical Islam. Nobody. And anybody who has the power to actually create an Islamic state is going to get pounded by the United States, Russia, and even other Muslim nations. So I'm just saying, your idea is ridiculous. It's never going to work. And it's never going to happen. Not in this world, not ever. And just so you know, that should be proof enough that Allah is not truly God. And that, that your idea about who Allah is and Muhammad being a real prophet, I don't think so. No way. That was a, the most wicked, evil man. Are you kidding me? So, yeah, you can count me out as far as being part of your caliphate. But only because I don't want to be on the losing team. If I thought the caliphate was going to win, if I thought God was with Islam, I'd convert. But I know God's not, and history proves that God's not with Islam.